On January 20th this year, as Joe Biden was preparing to be sworn in as president, the former guy, uh, the outgoing president, was very, very busy that day signing pardons and commutations for a whole rogues gallery, 143 pardons and commutations on his last day in office alone. For one of the high-profile people that Trump pardoned in his last minutes in office, though, the White House didn't list anyone as having arranged for that particular pardon. Perhaps they figured any attribution like that would be unnecessary, since anybody Googling that guy's name would immediately find everything they needed to know in the form of many, many online pictures of him with Jared Kushner. Um, Jared Kushner used to own the New York Observer newspaper. This guy who Trump pardoned on his final day in office, his name is Ken Kurson, was the editor at that newspaper. In 2018, Trump had tried to install the same guy at the National Endowment for the Humanities. Unfortunately for him, that appointment came with a, an FBI background check. And that routine FBI background check apparently turned up some troubling, troubling evidence that this guy maybe had a harassment problem of some kind. In any case, the, the glitches that turned up in his background investigation ultimately led to there being federal felony charges filed against him. And Ken Carson was facing those charges. He had not yet gone on trial in January when Trump pardoned him. But now look. Mr. Kirsten and all the pictures of him with Jared Kushner, they're all back in the news today. Because today, even though Trump just pardoned this guy a few months ago, today, Jared Kushner's friend, Ken Kirsten, found himself in handcuffs in a Manhattan courtroom. Because today, New York state prosecutors brought state felony charges against him for allegedly cyber-stalking and harassing his ex-wife. The behavior described in the indictment against him today in New York is behavior that was alluded to in his federal charging documents, actually in a footnote. Um, but now that alleged conduct is being charged in state court, where Trump's federal pardon is going to do this guy no good. He's facing the possibility of four years in state prison if he's convicted. The New York prosecutor, the district attorney in Manhattan, who brought the charges against him today, is the same New York prosecutor who recently brought criminal charges against Trump's business and Trump's business, uh, business's CFO, Alan Weisselberg. Today, that New York prosecutor, Cy Vance, uh, said this about his office's decision to bring state charges against Ken Kirsten, despite the federal pardon that Kirsten got from Trump. Vance said, quote, as alleged in the complaint, Mr. Kirsten launched a campaign of cybercrime, manipulation and abuse from his perch at the New York Observer newspaper. And now the people of New York will hold him accountable. He said, quote, we will not accept presidential pardons as get out of jail free cards for the well-connected in New York. That point there about presidential pardons not being get-out-of-jail-free cards, like, in general, that, that might just be some good speechifying today from that New York prosecutor there, but it may also be a warning to somebody else in Trump's orbit. Because that same prosecutor, that same DA who charged Ken Kirsten today after Kirsten was, was pardoned by Trump in January, that same prosecutor also right now has an open investigation into Steve Bannon who was pardoned by Trump on federal fraud charges the same day Trump pardoned Jared's friend as well, the guy who was just charged in state court today. Trump's pardons are a get-out-of-jail-free card when it comes to federal charges, but not state charges. These state criminal charges today, I'm sure, were a shock to the Jared Kushner part of Trump's orbit, but I imagine they were deeply, deeply unsettling for Steve Bannon. What do you think? Watch this space.